I do I care more about the fantasy outcomes than the 49er outcome of this weekend? Like, this game feels so irrelevant to I, me. I, this, just, I mean, I, obviously, I want them to win. I want them to get the number one seed. I want them to get the bye. Blah, 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 blah. But this game feels so irrelevant because I remember where the Niners were in a situation similar to Arizona. You get to the end of the year and you're like, just just get this thing over with. Put us out of our misery. And I, I'm looking at Arizona this week and I'm like, what do they have to play for? They have nothing to play for. So what do the Niners have to play for other than the number one seed where you may know prior to the game whether yeah. you're so even in contention for that? You've got to get that two seed. Minnesota is going to play the Chicago Bears. You know who Chicago starting at quarterback? Not Justin Fields. Nathan Peterman. Oh, God. It's got a report on Nathan Peterman, Spadoni. Two uh, words or less. Stinks. <laughs> he stinks. So they're starting Nathan Peterman. Minnesota looks like they're going to win that football game. They should win that football game. Uh-huh. So the Niners have to play. They have to win. I kind of don't want them to play anyone. Like, a part of me wants them to just, like... So you just want them to drop to the three spot? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I think they can win with their backups. I truly do. Playing with fire. I uh, No doubt. I Josh Johnson? Freely admit it. No doubt. Do not want to lose this game. I, I just look at the big picture, and it's like, uh, don't be penny wise, pound foolish. It's all about health. I, CMC not playing, correct? Uh, we don't know that yet. I was under the impression that maybe he wasn't playing. I, maybe I, uh, Limited maybe, participant in practice, yeah. I believe. See, like, I, ah, man, I don't know. going to be I, bad weather, too. Scattered showers. But, yeah. but, but Elijah Mitchell may be back this week. Could be activated from the IR. Could be activated. Uh, you still have Jordan Mason, who is running hard. Yeah, I kind of would look, just give Jordan Mason a bunch of touches. Ty Davis Price. I'd like to see him, too. You still got to win a football game. No doubt. You want to secure the number two spot. So I think you play your starters in the first half. Okay. You get a lead, and you pull them. You pull them. You hope to play great defense. I, You don't want to mess around because you lose this game. All of a sudden, you're three, and you're traveling in the second round, possibly. Well, do you want to avoid Green Bay? I'm asking out loud. If you're the 49ers, why were you... You believe I'm in the best asking, team in the NFC. I'm just asking As you a fan, if you a may matchup. want to avoid Green Bay, but if you're the 49ers in that locker room, you're saying, Aaron Rodgers, we dominate him. We dominate him. Yeah, but you want to put yourself up in the best position to win a championship, and maybe the best path is, is avoiding teams. Because guys do have those conversations. Scare money don't make money. I, I'm not saying they don't, but, but you want the path of least resistance. I think that that's, that's so a you, false so opinion. So you you're would like, rather go... I want anyone. So yeah, would you I'd rather like go on the avoid. road for the second week of the playoffs... I'm just asking out loud. These let's say I'm locks asking up. You. Philadelphia I'm, I'm locks asking in. You. Okay, in this I'm hypothetical, Philadelphia locks up the number one seed. Okay, to me at that point, like you're gonna get the 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 bare minimum one home game, and eh, it uh, it don't really matter. I think this team can win on the road. They can win on home. And really, so you would this rather base, hold on. So you would rather lose this game, not play anybody. Avoid Green Bay because you're nervous. If it guarantees me health of my top players, yes. And you'd rather travel for the second round of the playoffs, possibly. To me, every week is equally difficult in the playoffs. And so whether I'm home, away, oh, it's it's negligible, it's, especially for this team. This is not an air raid team. For this team, like the way that they play football, health is the most important thing for this team because I'm looking around the NFL. There's a lot of unhealthy teams. I look at the Niners, and I'm like, man, I, if, if you tell me Debo gets back and he's right, right. You're telling me Christian McCaffrey's legs are fresh and gets a, a week, an entire week off. I'm, I'm with that. I'm, I'm so disappointed in you. They're in a very good spot. Yours, they, they've won nine games in a row. They've got Nick Bosa rushing the passer, and you're scared of Green Bay. It's not that I'm scared of Green Bay. It's that yeah, I'm worried are, about my are. own individual health. These guys can get hurt the first possession of the postseason. Uh, no doubt. Injuries could happen. But I want fresher legs. Injuries, injuries could happen. They, they'll have fresh legs. Play half the game against Arizona and beat their ass. Well, beat their ass in the first half. David Blau, you scared of David Blau? No. Get that, out that, there. That's why I think we can and, win. And his defense needs I, to I still think Kerry Hyder can get to the quarterback. His defense needs to tighten up anyway. They need to play. Hufanga needs to play. You see the numbers in the last five weeks when he's targeted and the yards he's given up, the touchdowns he's given up, they need to play. Scare money don't make money. I, I can't believe you'd rather give up home games in favor of health in uh, the playoffs. To, to me, for this team, health is the most. Just because I've seen them uh, go on the road last year in particular and this year and win big-time games. It's a rookie quarterback. Uh, no doubt. And that's the part that scares me. But I, he could have a poor performance at home as well. Like to say that he'll, he'll do X, Y, Z at the road, he could do the same exact thing at home. We buy his home field advantage, man. Red paint in the end zone. 
Well, they're getting yeah. at least one game at home, so that's... Wouldn't you rather have two guaranteed games? Of course I games? would rather have those, of course. This guy's got to play, man. I'm playing them. I'm not worried about injuries. Because injuries could happen Could happen in practice today in the rain. Of course. Somebody could slip, strain their hamstring, boom. You're done for the next three weeks. I don't, I don't care. If you're the 49ers, and I've been hearing for the last two months now mm-hmm. about the Niners, nobody wants to play them in the NFC. Nobody wants to play the Niners. Oh, they're the most sacked roster. We fear nobody. I want Philadelphia. We could go to Philadelphia and win. And all of a sudden, you know what? I want to avoid Green Bay. No, that's not like, my like, ulterior. No, 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 I'm saying no, that we no, can no. beat Arizona that. with the backups. Like Cliff Kingsbury that. is basically got one foot you just out the said door. You want the path of least resistance. Well, I, I, if I could, I'd like to avoid the Packers. I'm hoping we can avoid the Packers. But I'm not. I'm not ducking anyone. That's not it what I'm saying. Sounds like you're ducking the Packers. No, I'm trying to get ultimate health. Steve Young said that they're the team to beat in the NFC. He did. And I'm with him. Sure on did. That. Wow, you're with Steve Young. I can't believe you, man. He made a bunch of Star Wars references the other day, you. and I'm, I, I, I I've never been you. more in on. I can't on believe Steve you. It's a trap. Yeah, I can't believe you, man. I really can't. Health is the most important te- thing for this team. When I look at Lane Johnson being out, when I look at Jalen Hurts being out, and I look at Philadelphia, their entire hopes for this year are resting on whether those guys can be close to 100% because we know what they look like when they are. When I look at the 49ers and I look at that game against the Raiders, they were still explosive without Debo. Boy, what would they look like with a, a just an extra week of health for, for CMC, another week for, for Debo and all those. I still think they can kick the crap out of the Cardinals with their backups. MDK1, you said it, YouTube. By the way, five minutes, shameless shout-outs, 888-957-9570. San Franchaski looming large on a Friday. Looming large. A month ago, you won to Philadelphia. Oh, I still do. Now you want to own the Packers. They're not afraid of anyone. They're gonna, they can go anywhere and beat anyone, and they can also lose at home to anyone. So uh, using that, because we know how the margins are in football, they're razor thin, health is is the most important aspect. Forget home field. Forget the matchup. If this team's healthy and they're loaded and, and they're right, right, don't you, you want know le- they can beat anyone, anytime, any place, anywhere. Don't you, don't you want less traveling? Because you don't it have to travel. This team, it doesn't matter. Don't, team. Traveling, if you got to travel to second round, say, to Minnesota. Now I'm assuming well, Minnesota's going to win their first round They played in game. a snowstorm last year. I, I, in, I hear in, you. Where, where you, they couldn't even grip the football. you want to go travel all the way to Minnesota? Which is going to take away half your day and the preparation. Be indoor day. on the track with, with, with my guy Bosa, and, and, and yeah, what they'll, they'll collapse. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. You said turf. You brought up turf. You've been screaming to the high heavens about getting rid of turf. Oh, I and we have, know about yeah. all the injuries yeah, the Niners have suffered on turf, yeah. and now you want this team to go to Minnesota on turf and play a playoff game. Well, I mean, you're going to have That's to what no matter what. Now. They're not going to change it to grass. You don't even believe what you're saying right now. Uh, I can't take you serious. You don't believe what you're saying. Uh, that you health do, is you the most important. Material. You're running material. You don't want to go play on turf. You're not scared of the Packers. Since when are you afraid of the road, Mr. Right. I go to every road game? I'm not afraid of the road, but I want home games, home playoff games. Don't you want home field advantage? Don't you want red paint all throughout uh, the playoffs? Uh, of course I do. But you know what? You know what can happen? Minnesota could lose in the first like, round. I don't worry about it with the Warriors because I know they're going to win a game on the road. I know they're going to win a game on the road, so they're so, going so to come to Jason and wipe you out. So to you, home field advantage and seed supersedes health. I'm not worried about injuries. You can't play scared. You can't play that, worried about like, injuries. I, but you could still put yourself in a position These guys to avoid get hurt it. It's practice. about risk mitigation. These guys could get hurt in practice. Of course they can. We've seen it happen. But, but in you're practice. more likely to get hurt in the game. I mean, we can all agree there. Like, oh, you're more likely to get God. hurt in the game. San Francisco. Afraid of the Packers? Plus, I want a trip to Philadelphia and I want a trip to Minnesota. Well, that would happen. Boxer and Gerson's going to send us there. Oh, my God. 888 957. I'm ready to bust out the purple. 9570. I'm ready to go have me a hoagie. 888 957. I'll be the Broad Street bully. 9570. Meek Mill, where you at? Shameless shout outs. I can't believe. I can't believe San Francisco showed up on a payday Friday. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We're going to read your text. It's going to be mobile text line. 888-957-9570. You're scared? Go to church. Hey, no, I'm not as afraid of the road. I'm saying I want, I want home games. Wouldn't you want an NFC title game at home if the Eagles lose? But that can happen. That can happen no matter what. Like it both could. Minnesota and the Eagles could lose. They could. 
They could. And you would have to face probably Minnesota in the second round right. before even getting to Philadelphia. I so would rather face. You could beat. Like, oh, you, I'd rather you might, face Minnesota here well, than I'm, Minnesota on the turf. All turn. things being considered, yeah, I probably would too. Wouldn't you rather have Kirk rather Cousins healthy. outdoors? Look, I'm, I'm just Outdoors you. on grass, on the road, Kirk Cousins on the road? I'll take them no matter. I don't care where we play them. To, to me, Minnesota, is. Uh, it doesn't matter where we're at. We can beat them no matter what. Like I agree. I like but I sure in the hell would like to save a flight. I actually think it'll be a really good game, Niners uh, Vikings, because that's the in one. In Minnesota, you, they, they're they're wide receivers and they're tight end. And you'd rather go up there to Minnesota on that fast track and play them with all those weapons. Well, I think it also benefits our our pass rush because you'll be able to get off clean. Now, if Philly loses, I might change my opinion. Oh my God! See, this is. This what bothers me. What? It's been Game only time lovely. decisions. This what bothers me. Game time decisions. As Jay Glazer, line the quote unquote esteemed journalist of the show, the guy who went to journalism school and went to the locker rooms and all that stuff, I changed my opinions. Oh, man, I get holy hell. You see, my, this guy can pivot within five minutes and it's okay because you're the, I can't believe this. I can't believe, I can't, but you're, you don't believe what you're saying. I don't believe you believe what you're saying right now. I'm wrong all the time. I don't believe you. From Laurie in Phoenix. Health is the reason we lost to the Rams last year. This team has been the most injured team the last few years. A healthy Niner team can win anywhere. Laurie, I agree with you. And that's kind of my overriding. To me, that's the number one thing when I think of the 49ers. Road, uh, you know, home, it's irrelevant. Like, this team is a butt kicker. The run game travels. The defense should travel. I'm not worried. Would I like to have a Levi's home game? Would Jed York like to have? Of course, of course I would. Of course he would. Charles Schwab, who loves to count the money at the gates and talk about the TV revenue and the home game mm-hmm. checks, wants to go on the road. Mm-hmm. Would rather go on the road and be a three seed mm-hmm. because he's scared of injuries. It makes a better story, too. Because when Disney starts penning the Brock Purdy Super Bowl story in year one, I mean, you'd think the Kurt Warner one was good. Wait till you see the Brock how, Purdy one. How many he home goes games? on the road to Minnesota, and he wins at Minnesota. Oh then he goes on the road to Philadelphia with me sitting in the end zone, and, and he wins in Philadelphia. And then he goes back home to his home state of Arizona, a 45-minute drive from the high school he used to grow up in. I mean, that's the kind of story you I'm talking about. You watch too many about. Disney movies. I mean— you got to cancel Disney Plus, man. It's It's killing you. It's killing you, Wasn't man. Wasn't Joe Montana's last it's great comeback you. on the road it's in the playoffs you. for the Chiefs? It's, it's Wasn't Joe Montana's you. last big no, NFC no, no, championship no, no. win Joe on Montana, the road? Joe Montana got knocked out of the AFC Championship in Buffalo yeah, in Nurture Park. Yeah, but he got, his, got his ass killed. Didn't he beat the uh, got Houston his, Oilers yeah, in the playoffs? Yeah, he came back against yeah. the Oilers. The Oilers yeah. always so choked, though. The Oilers always choked. And then the next road game, he got knocked out of the game in Buffalo. And then when the finesse-ass 49ers beat the Chicago Bears in the freezing cold tundra, what ended up happening there? They had already been champions. They had already been champions. They had already been champions. And they were playing for something. Bill Walsh is last year. This ain't got nothing to do with 1988. Unbelievable.